So the next important thing is getting that done to get it listed. Hopefully we can get that in the newspaper this coming week. Just so everybody knows, we are accepting resumes. You don't have to wait for the ad to come out to put in your resume. You can drop it in the box. You can email it to us, arborcreektownha at sellsouth.net. Um, yes, it will also be listed online on the Florida State site. And if you know anybody who's interested, let them know. We're accepting the resumes now. Okay, now we can move on to new business. Uh, the first thing we need to talk about is the assignment of the one-year term to the one seat of the newly elected council. What would be the question on that? I mean, we need to assign that to one of the seats because it was that other seat that needs to get back in line with yeah, three of the two. Right. So it needs to be assigned to one of the newly elected council. So we need to take a vote on that. I don't know. Is that the way it's going to be decided by a vote? I mean, you had a tie, three way tie. Uh, so I don't think it should do a vote. You should do some kind of uh, lottery type deal. Names in a hat or something. You have three people, people. So now then, uh, taking a vote on that just doesn't seem fair at all. No, because you. Because you're one of the teachers, you're one of the teachers, so you just can't you three guys to vote on it. It's, uh, it's pretty obvious and, 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 and Russell also. And it should be more of a, uh, it should be more of a Mr. Rob, what's your thoughts on this subject? And there was a three-way tonight. So why should she be 
Isn't that democracy? Do I hear a motion that we're going to take a vote to vote? I make a motion that we vote right? for this position. This question. Do I hear a second? Majority rules? And the mayor second? No. How do we? Nobody can second it. What if you were to consult the election? We have it. This is the same. This is, this is how they recommend it. So either we get a vote to vote. They recommend us to vote between ourselves who takes that seat. But if someone wanted to volunteer? Well, yeah. So, yeah what about that? That, that, <laughs> that would be the need for a vote. Okay. I volunteer. To the one year. Wow. Uh, that's, wow. That, that, that seems to solve the problem. I just don't find that uh, satisfactory. Well, it was falling on me anyway. It was falling on me anyway. No, it wasn't. Mary and I were misinformed. I was misinformed. Why not have I 
because she wasn't running for a particular seat. She was running for a general election like, along with the rest of them. And she had a Because we don't have that in our ordinances. 
So what are you going to do that tonight? What? Suspend that position? Yes. That's $50 an hour that we're spending on that position. And I don't know how this town can even afford that, especially when it's not legal. Yeah, so in the future, we do need to get with the county. We do need to put things in place for our building and zoning, but they have to be legal. I mean, everything has to be legal. So right now, what's Mr. Fuller's uh, status? He's not our zoning and planning guy. His, his position needs to be terminated. So, someone, does anybody else have anything to say about that? I agree. That was a, that was a position needed by us for showing things in this town. Can you repeat that? That position was being used for biasness and trying to control the people of this town. Wow. Yeah, we're going to have to make a motion. Do I hear a motion for that position to be terminated? I'll make a motion to be terminated. Do I hear a second? But also the understanding that the mayor has the authority to terminate any employment in the town without council. I would let your your suspension stand. I mean, I have nothing against Mr. Fuller. He's a very knowledgeable man. And perhaps when we get things put in place, we can talk to him in the future. But you can't have somebody do a job that isn't even in your ordinances. It's completely illegal. Is that corruption? How much time did we use them in a month? Quite I mean, a bit. you know, or depending wow. on which which hunts they were going for. Now he got a, he got paid to attend meetings. He got paid fifty dollars an hour, and he was used as a town. When you have growth, it should be guided growth. So any citizen should be able to come here and have the clerk, board members whatever the case may be, tell them what they need to do on their property, who they need to talk to. You shouldn't just shut everything down. You want growth, but you want it to be good guided growth. The proper way is the legal way. What they were doing was shutting everybody down, going on witch hunts, spending the town's money to research whatever they decided to make up about somebody, monitoring people's water usage they did all kinds of things that they shouldn't have been doing and if you wonder where i know all that from it's from reading what's in that office i didn't make any of this up i'm disgusted by what i've seen this week um you just don't hire somebody and pay them to go on witch hunts. They target certain people in the town. They, yes, they targeted several different people that live in this town to shut them down for doing things. Meanwhile, they look the other way for certain things, and that's not the way you do anything. You mean like selective enforcement? Yes. Correct. You must treat everybody the same. Now, I've seen where there's some people they were really worried about their anxiety levels and that they were kept in the loop on all the communications regarding their property. Meanwhile, other individuals, they contacted every agency they could contact to try to shut down their stuff instead of saying, hey, did you know that you need to do this, this, and this to do this? And you learned all this information since? Correct. Been in there. I may have never been on a board, never sat on a board, but I don't sit. I do. So I train myself, I get into things, and I look at things. He didn't, he didn't empty everything out of the office. So mm -hmm. he left some stuff for them to find. Mm -hmm. Those are the brief things I've found in a week. I hate to see what else I do find. Did you experience any of that bias? Correct, yes. You I did. Yes. Lies were made up and spewed. You're yes. kidding. Yes, I'm not kidding. I am appalled. I'm appalled by what I read about the clerk saying about people, the nicknames she made up about people, the ethics in everything that was going on is horrible. Well, it seems like we should be able to have uh, access to that 
Correct. It was your information. I will, I will be as transparent as you should be. I think you missed it. So say I wanted to see some of the stuff you're talking about. It would be my uh, avenue of doing that. Answer request your email. FOA. Just send me an email with a request Answer the request for that. Emails. And that would be like a... That would be a request for the public Freedom of information. Yes. Yeah. Okay. I, I was appalled to see what I saw. Hmm. I mean, you should never do those things to anybody. No, I'm, I'm kind of. I mean, I was. I would like to see them myself. Yes. I was also. Well, it's almost. good. We're learning things. And he, and he was in. He was also invited as. Thank you. He was also invited as a workshop that we were in London in Canada. I was, yeah, I was appalled to actually find out with the last charge position yes. that in emails it was promised to the person it was given to before it was ever advertised. And then when me and Miss Preston put our nice. stuff in the box, an email went out that said, oh no, they put their stuff in the box. What do we do now? Okay, well, I, I'm very upset to see how I was targeted. I was also targeted from the vacated councilman seat where I and Ms. Preston were made to provide different documentation than Mr. Shannon. Also, the clerk emailed Mr. Shannon and told him to take extra ethics training so that he would be more qualified than everyone else. Now, if the clerk is going to send that to Dan, she also should have sent it to me and Michelle. I agree, 100%. Correction. So, I'm, I'm very Correction. concerned with the ethics in this office. I think that's a little strong. Corrupt, the definition of corruption is dishonest and fraudulent behavior. There is not just an ounce of it here. There's boxes full of it. It's, it's pretty bad, Don, and I'm sorry that it's gotten to this way. The whole town should Thinks be upset. Thinks it's comical at what's been going on here and the waste of their money. He's on laughing. Um, I don't think he understands. I really don't it's think just, he understands. It's a misuse of money. It's the town's money. Everyone should be upset. I have crazy notes about it. Well, I'm looking forward it's to very a, upsetting. I'm looking forward to uh, educating myself on the ways of the past. Yes, I'm looking forward to everybody knowing and the transparency to be here and everybody to know what happened then and where we're going now, because that will never be, because that is not okay. Don, I'm an impartial person and I've stepped in to help them and I see it, not just because it was targeted to her or them, but I see it and it's in 6,000 emails in there to, they're talking about it. Why did it took so long for this stuff to Because come out? we are just now. I've been videoing it for three years. The wrong people have been in this office. Well, they kept me out of the clerk's office. They kept me out of the board for a reason. When you only want certain people to know everything and they cover everything up, you keep it all together. People that we were all duped. For someone that, that you represent the town sitting on the board, you think you would do your job and look around and see everybody. But you don't see what's happening. You don't okay. Okay. Before everybody gets way off the look, we want to stay together. Like, share, and subscribe. Right. But we want to stay together. We don't want everybody fighting anymore. This whole division in this town is no good. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you know, there's even more. And I just want everyone to know the different pay scales of the the main clerk was getting paid fifteen fifty an hour. The two assistant clerks were each making twelve dollars an hour. The maintenance position is twelve dollars an hour. The zoning fifty dollars an hour. The mayor gets paid one hundred and twenty-five dollars a month for the meeting. The council gets paid a hundred dollars a month for the meeting. Just to be on board, so everybody knows likes. what everybody's making. Because I know those have been questions people have had. 
I personally would like to know why the town has been paying at least $4,000 a month on three clerks to walk into the mess that I've walked in. Mm -hmm. It's another thing that just appalls me. I don't think their classification was as clerks. I think they were just like Angelo was an years. assistant clerk. Norma, she started as a volunteer and all of a sudden started getting paid. So I don't know about that one. A little come out and watch. It sure will. Come out and watch. Maybe legal. Getting hot in here. So, I mean, there was even emails where there was different meetings going on, and Come on, hit the like. you heard about it, and they tried to lock the door, but you got in here before they did, and they were all worried about the neighbors here, and then sunshine laws being broken. It's just none of that's right and everything that goes on with the water should have always been reported in statuses why if you're doing all this work on the water why wouldn't you want everyone to know about it that's where i stand on that um th this town is just not in good shape we have a current lawsuit going on um with the mess they've left we're left with the question of can we even recover from it what are the damages that the lawsuit is, is seeking? I don't even know at this really point. Really the I mean, it's been a rough week, on. I'm trying to figure all this out. <laughs> I don't know. I was going to come tonight and try to explain to you. I've done a lot of volunteer hours this week. I get paid a whole 125 a month, and I can guarantee you I've put in more than 20 hours this week. And I don't intend to stop putting in the hours because I want to fix this mess. I don't have any secret agenda. Yeah, my agenda is up. to quit yeah, corruption. My thumbs up. So, I don't know if there's anything else in my books. Therese, That's probably it for now. were those two clerks, temporary clerks, were they even approved by the council? Well, after the fact, the last one that was hired, <laughs> Angela, even though they promised her the job before ever running it, she of course got the job. Even though I put in a resume and Miss Preston put in a resume, they supposedly picked the most qualified, but I have to disagree that they did. I'm surprised. The third clerk was not advertised. So. So, did we finish the vote with that zoning and planning position and what's happening there? Is there is that no ever? There is no it's just it's being just terminated? Right. Okay, perfect. Break me down. So the next, or the last thing for the new business before we move on to other things is the online calendar of events slash website. We need to create a website for the town that also has an online calendar. That way people can go online and look to see what's going on, get in touch, leave comments, come into this century. So that will be worked on. And whatever we figure with how much that's going to cost, we can present that at the next meeting for a vote. But we'll get it all together. Will people be able to pay the water bill? That's something we're definitely going to be looking into. Also, on the water bills, I do want to start including a breakdown, which I do believe should have always been there. So in the future, that breakdown will be there. People will be charged the correct amount, commercial or residential, not based on a size of a pipe, but the way it was supposed to be done was commercial and residential. So for those... Permits as well. You can apply for a permit to build a fence or that with uh, online. Or we will have guided growth in this town okay. going forward. Oh, that's so helping stop from people from doing things. We are going to get together and do them the correct way. And when things are implemented, when we get together with the county and change things, the ordinance will go and it's all going to be legal. But yeah, we're not knocking anybody down from doing what they should be doing. You don't pick and choose and play games with people. Mm -hmm. um, one last that. thing. Long before you came here, huh? we had water, we had pumps, we had everything. But mysteriously, the 
in the first five years that I lived here, the pumps disappeared. Mm. We ever found them. <laughs> they were never replaced. I'm still running, operating with one meter. The other one went to town or someplace. They took it out. Needless to say, who was the water man at that time? What's his buddy who's back on his job? All right? The pumps disappeared. Where are they, you tell me? In the back of the fire engine that disappeared. And where's the fire engine? Along with the pickup truck that was brand new, paid for, in that garage, disappeared. You mean the one that was A fire truck and right, a pickup exactly. truck disappeared? They all, they all voted to let it go. Mm -hmm. Oh, the fire truck. Yeah. And there was nothing wrong with it. Made up a price. Who got that? What is in the garage right now? What? What the back? Right here. I'm asking. There's nothing in the garage. There's files in the garage. Where's the brush truck? Where's the brush? Huh? There's file boxes in there. One in a yard around the corner. What's really the brush truck? There's a file box in the garage. Yeah. I saw that one. There's file boxes from nineties. The fire uh, engine. Uh, no. go. I see. Which one? Okay. The, big, the big, beautiful one we had that worked. And there's a freezer that's got mold white in it. Huh? That white pickup truck? No, look, I'm talking about the fire engine now. Oh, the red we one had a big, Don beautiful Jared? red one. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> there's no vehicles in there. Is that the one you're talking about? No, that was, that was before our time. Okay. Well, anyway, we're getting way off point, yeah, so let's get back here. Two of them, All right, now we're going to talk about the Catholic Charities. I just wanted to let you know they dropped off food, so anybody who needs any food, see me after the meeting, and we can give that out. And what, the next month, they'll be here July 10th at noon. We announced at the beginning of the meeting, somebody didn't hear it about the open comment. Fill out a card, you have a comment for the public comment. We only have one in here. And once we start, the boxes are done. You can't put one in after we start public comment. If you want to do public comment, yes, grab a card right here, put your name on it. I'm going to mention it now, so you can who wants to name it. Can I ask one more right here, or is the card? Will the... The, the town hall be open to the public now? Right now we have posted it uh, Anybody else? Wednesday, Friday, okay. 10 to 2. Okay. <laughs> I want to see another beautiful piece of collection. Look at the road out there. Right. <laughs> the black cotton is all the way around and it's all replaced. And on both sides of the road, there's about that much it wasn't covered with. That's the, that's the least of the worries right now. Huh? We've got to get some, some healthy yep. water in you before we start fixing roads. If they make the roads shorter, it's cheaper. The roads are just dog beds right now. Yeah. But yes, no more dogs and pets and people killed by crappy water. Minnie Coney. Water is life. <laughs> He's doing a great job. Oh, Does anybody here aware of how people are, are they signing up for the 
these two jobs, or we notify them, or is anybody aware of how that was working before? They make the public notice, and then the uh, people act on it. Okay. 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 And if there is anybody that usually receives that, please get in touch with us because, once again, we weren't left with any notice of how that works. And People in need of food in Otter Creek, please contact the clerk at the town hall. I don't, I'm not aware of it. I just want to make sure that people can really do need to get it. Place people, if you need food, contact the clerk at Town Hall. Otter Creek. Um, pass the word about the food in Otter Creek. Town Hall, please pass the word. Please hit the thumbs up. I'll try to put the number in after. All right, so there's five in here. Nobody else has a comment that they might want to add before we get started? All right. Remember, it's three minutes, everybody, okay? Just try to keep it for that. We're not going to say, so, oh, stop. I'm not. Just try to I'm maintain this. Well, we'll just ask you to try to maintain yourselves, okay? Mm -hmm. If it gets too far away, we may have to ask you to come back next week. Okay, so we have um, on planning and zoning, Albert Fuller. Do I need to come up or can I speak from here? Yeah, yeah. Speak. What I'd like to say is that I'd like to clear up what, what happened with planning and zoning. Uh, it was something that I never intended to do or, like, or wanted to do, but I was asked to do it, and I did it as a matter of clarification for the things that the things that the the land development regulations said, uh, I was asked to do it. I did every I made every assignment according to what I was asked to do. Yes. In terms of the fifty dollars an hour, uh, I'm sorry, but that's the least that I have ever been paid. I'm sure. <laughs> well, I've, okay, seen, so. I've, I've seen some of your work. And it, you're very knowledgeable. Yeah, that. I don't mean to insult yeah. you whatsoever. And, and it's not necessarily an insult at all. I just wanted to clear the record is that I did what I was asked yeah. to do. And yeah, I didn't mean anything against you. I think you're a lovely there, man. You're not, very knowledgeable. And that's not it. And, and honestly, I'm not insulted by it. Okay. Because sometimes it was an imposition on me in order to take my time to do those things when. I have a lot of other things that I do, both uh, international consulting and the like. So it's something that I did because I was asked to do it and I thought it was a temporary assignment. Uh, the council did vote on it and, and it was approved. As to whether I had an agenda, I had no agenda whatsoever in terms of this town. But when I was asked to interpret a land development regulation, I did it according to an application. And as, uh, as I always said, I need an application so I have something to work with. And I would just suggest that the town in the future have the same process, which is an application process, in order for a planning and zoning official to look at it. But now, I think the town is in need of a little bit more than just a part-time planning and zoning official you need somebody to contract with to be able, uh, if, the, if the county chooses not to continue their inspection process, then somewhat, then I think you all need to get a firm to do that. It's certainly not me, and it's certainly not the, anything that I would even like to do, uh, because my, my schedule is far too busy to take something like that on. So, in terms of targeting, I have no intent to target people. I have no agenda. I'm just interpreting regulations based on that large land development regulation booklet. And so I gladly accept determination. The determination. <laughs> <laughs> I, I absolutely appreciate you 
and I never thought you were particularly doing anything wrong. Would you do consulting? I appreciate your knowledge, and I agree we need to revisit that subject. He's very knowledgeable. In the future. In the future, yeah. Backs up the fact that you were you were assigned to these things. You weren't. Yes. You didn't bring them yes. to them. They in their messages and their emails back and forth it shows they definitely were using you to pursue their. Thank you for your service. Can we service. clarify who Thank they you. are? Who was using it, Mr. Fuller? At this moment, I don't know the names on the phone. Mary and Russell Meeks. Thank, <laughs> Thank you, Madam Mayor. Please stay and consult. We might need you, Mr. Fuller. Yeah. Yay. Thank you, Mr. Fuller. He says, I get a vacation now. They get to do some more work on the farm. No comments, just questions. I promise not to try and take up too much time. I, I do have some questions, though. So, um, number one, I, I want to share my deep appreciation of the new mayor, Madam Mayor Therese. You are doing a fantastic job. I've seen more accomplished than I've seen in the past three years. Deanna, Belinda, my goodness, what you've done with the office is incredible. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. And, and I, Looks I, do, beautiful. I do have a few questions. Shape Belinda, right specifically, up. may I ask a question of Belinda as a volunteer? Yeah. No, remember? I, I'm one only question. volunteer. You're only a volunteer. I'm only a volunteer. I have this question because I have a problem with corruption, and I have a problem when people are taking money and misusing it, and this is the town's money. And I know the town doesn't have a lot of money, and I have a problem with that when I see... 60 hours a week in a part-time position in a town of 100 people, money going out, that's your money, it's my money, you're a professional. In your professional opinion, how many hours a week is that position? Less than 10. Less than 10 hours a week. And you go in and you know what you're doing, it's less than 10. That's 50 hours a week, people, that was spent of your money inappropriately. All right, thank you. Thank you for the answer. I've got, I've got a few other questions. Um, Madam Mayor, in your personal opinion, what you've seen so far, can you put a dollar amount on how much inappropriate spending you've seen and you've uncovered thus far? Wow. I can't even put that yet. Are we talking hundreds? Are we talking thousands, tens of thousands? Really? If you were to, at this point, if you were to guess. I would have to say thousands. This is way beyond the topic. Well, I wouldn't know an amount to give. I've never seen any money. I'm just making my opinion. All right. My opinion is that it's more than hundreds. All right, thank you. So thousands. As I'm viewing all this tonight, I do not see Russell Meeks Sr. here. I'm hearing that you can't even get into the accounts. He had a meeting where it was a motion was made to pay the bills. I'm hearing bills haven't even been paid. I'm concerned that the water is going to be turned off for the people because the electric bill hasn't been paid. In my opinion, it looks as if Russell Meeks is actually intentionally sabotaging your mayorship and the town as a whole. As a whole. Would that be an appropriate assumption? I'm not talking to you, Don. I'm talking to well, her. He is corrupt. Okay. 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 So, so is that an appropriate okay. assumption that, that Russell Meeks Sr. is actually intentionally sabotaging your mayorship, the new leadership, and the town as a whole? And water. And the water. He has questions. That's how I personally feel, that I've been set up for failure and that there's no help, but I'm used to cleaning up messes. I've been doing it my whole life, so this is the perfect job for me. You, you've done a fantastic job in here. One more question. I don't think I can interrupt you. Don seems to be taking, taking time for the first time. But I'm, I'm, as you're seeing all this and you're talking about all this that you're finding in emails, I heard 6,000 emails. Is the attorney part of this? A part of the is the attorney warm part of all of this that's going on? He's been in communication with the clerk. 
That's my last question. Thank you. I He's appreciate it. Thank minute. you, Belinda. Thank you, Diana. Thank you, Teresa. Thank you, Council. He's had many chances to stand up and say so. Stop. He asked her a question. There was no accusation. Okay, we're moving on to the next person. Carl Hughes. I have multiple things. Okay. Congratulations on being elected mayor. Thank you. Zim, I want to say I've said some negative things about you in the past, and if you would, I would like to shake your hand. I have some things to say to Russell, which is what it is. But, Don, I have time to ask you when is your term up? At, well, about <laughs> 10 months? Public knowledge. Okay. I, I'm just asking in particular, your term's up in about nine, 10 months? Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll be coming for your seat. Great. Right. <laughs> uh, soon enough. For the board, I'd like to ask, what would y'all, there's dogs running around loose. They're just running around attacking people. They're running up at people's property, attacking other people's animals, stuff like that. What is y'all's thing with that? The rules on handling the dogs and the processes are like a dog. Catcher handling the process has to go through uh, training courses and certain things as a town. We really can't afford to do something with that part right now. But I, I do, and, and Therese agrees that we, we're going to look into there's a lot of properties in this town that's not paying their fair share of taxes. And there's a place where almost, I, I haven't had a chance to look at them all, but the county has been pointing out quite a bit of them. That, some people have a large taxes for property paying less money on taxes than the Don here is paying. And that's not fair to Don. That's the county's problem. It's not, it's not ours. We don't have no. nothing to do with it. We have anything to do with it. This is like our town taxes come from that collection. And the percentage of taxes that you pay comes to this town. And, and the, they're, they're, that balance is it's out of balance. It's the county appraiser that. that, that I can say back and forth in the emails that I've seen just briefly because again it's been a rough week. There has been some back and forth with them creating ordinances and trying to figure out stuff because it seems that there's a circular motion between the county and the city and it getting kicked back and forth. But we do have a definite problem with the animals and something does need to be done. So if we can generate more revenue, we can afford to do the things we need to do as far as that's concerned. Mm -hmm. I will be speaking with the county and Mr. Warren for suggestions as to what we can do moving forward. Because something does need to be done about it. I don't feel safe walking through here. It happens to a lot of different people that they don't feel safe. I've had a lot of people will talk to me about it, so we need to look more into it. So we are saying that we should raise the property tax. Russell's already wanting to raise the tax. Where's the money? Is there? Take the Let's find out where the money's going before we start raising taxes. So then all, everybody right. should be successful at the same Goodness. level, and that's why they should be paying the same ratio. We're getting way off topic. I just want to and say that, that we, will, we will be looking into all revenue growth and what we can do to put in the things we need to do, such as the dogs, cats, whatever animals, mm. and the different things that should be done in this town. We need to look at different ways to raise revenue, whether it's through taxes or other things, we will be looking into all of those things because something needs to be done. And like I said, we will be talking to the county and to Mr. Warren to see what we can do going forward, and I'll keep you posted on statuses. Okay. Does I'm a that answer your traffic. question? Huh? I'm a licensed driver. Okay, well, and I can if you want to see me after the meeting. To 
the Levy County Shelter. Okay. All right. It's legal. Make sure you leave your number. Give me your number. If I sign it, I can send it my car and bring it to her. Yes, But I will keep in communication and let you know where we're at because that's also on the top of my list, too. Yes, ma'am. The only reason I ask is because I personally, driving down the road on my motorcycle, I've been attacked by, you know, dogs running loose. My brother has. I've seen other people be attacked by him. I've had the it same problem on my golf cart. So it, it, it just becomes something that becomes a nuisance that shouldn't be. Yes, I agree. There, there is a leash law. Regardless of the yes. The problem is nobody wants to enforce it. Doesn't the county have a animal the county does. control? The county does, but it doesn't want to do anything about it. It kicks it back to us. It just goes in a big circle. But I will tell you that in the meantime, it is perfectly legal for me to stop and pick a dog up who's sleeping in the middle of the road because it's feral at that point. Put it in my car and take it to the Humane Society. Yeah. Correct. Yeah, and and you can do that with cats and dogs. Right. And at some point, can do with you know what? <laughs> at some point, you're going to get sick of paying the fees to get your animal right. out. And you're going to take so many care times, you If you own an that. animal, it is your responsibility yeah. to keep it right. under your and control. You, you want to keep so it. Inside if fence, somebody probably. happens to pick huh? it up when Inside it's running loose and it gets taken to where that's on you. Can we check what we were spending all our money on before we raise taxes of new taxes? We'll be going through a lot of things, and believe me, as we find out things, they will be revealed because once again, we will be transparent. Thank you. Because everybody has the right to know what's going on, and I, like I said before, I expect the community to be part of this process. Because raising taxes shouldn't be the first thing. No, we'll be looking into plenty of different areas for revenue. Thank you. Right. There's there's lots of things, and believe me, they'll all come in time. We have to prioritize things. I just hate to point. see people with not much money get their taxes raised right away. Yeah. Let's see what we're spending it on. This Before is everybody this gets is, worried about it. It's not happening tomorrow. Thank you. Nothing's happening tomorrow. We've got a long road ahead of us. Uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> the process right. won't be to raise the taxes. Thank you. Just I just want to make it clear. We want what, what we want what you're paying. We just want to make all sure, sure all the people watching know that it's not going to happen right away. Thank you. Okay, so we're going to have to see if we can share with us some Charlie Lotson. Hey, just a quick question. I have two things. Have y'all taken the locks off the meters? Not yet. I did mention that at the... Uh, it's uh, firework season, and y'all know all the fires that are going around in the country in Canada. I would only, if y'all want to do it like in around like 19, where you may have people abusing it, like the big companies that come around and do stuff, I would just at least suggest to do it in the residential areas, like close to houses. <coughs> And I think they'll, they'll be coming off this week. I did make the mention in here, but it's not something that has to be part of the board. And safety, I hear Richard talk about sometimes this job is hard because there's a lot of growth around um, the water meters. Where, you know, risk management and stuff, that could, um, he pokes his eye because somebody's got limbs mm -hmm. hanging over. For, I would suggest, like, maybe y'all go around and see what's overgrowth that may prohibit him from doing his job, you know, to make his job a lot easier. And I would like to donate um, brand new knee pads and a kneeling pad for him. Wow. So when he goes around and does like the water, he can like lay down, save his knees, make it where he doesn't get his pants wet, if that's okay. Mm. Yeah. That's Very great. nice. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, and then, is that it? Next person, Charles, Larry Watson, Here I am. Glad to be here. Guys, I thank you very much for y'all having me, even though I'm not a resident here. Mom grew up here like I went over that. Mary Teresa, I would like to say this. I have six sisters, and the way you were treated last night embarrassed me. It just embarrassed me badly. People could keep their mouth shut. You was elected, 
And people were elected you. There was an insult to all those people. And not only was it an insult to all those people, it was an insult to even the people that didn't vote for you. I just want to say thank you. There's, I, I, I said, my mom grew up here. But anyway, I left everybody kind of hanging last time. We're talking about, uh, I would meet the court, meet part in English. And there was a killing. The guy that was killed was a truck driver. Well, I'm going to pick up from there. I was talking to Mike Joyner, and I heard that he was embedded in that investigation. So I asked Mike, and I, he said, yeah, well, we, we hit it off pretty good. And like I said, I'm a silent person. I don't usually go out. This is the second time I've ever been to a meeting like this. But I gotta just voice my opinions and voice what I see. I, like I said, when I grew up, it was hard for me. I'm dyslexic. But what we do, if you know a person that's dyslexic, we think different. We bring things out different. And it, I impressed Mike Jones so much. He said, well, he said, I want to come out one day and pick you up and ride you around for three or four hours and pick your brain. <laughs> because I'm not going to get into discussion, something going on with the county, talk to Mike about it. It didn't go the way it was supposed to. Mike said, I'm going to have a, one of the county employees come out and talk to you. Sure enough, I got a call. Mr. Watson, this is so and so. I'm going to explain to you about what happened. I said, well, Look, don't waste my time, don't waste your time. You lied to the county commissioners to get this passed. And it's anyway, guys, uh, like I said, I know a lot of people like to told you, you know, one of the guys called me tonight, he can't make it back to St. Pete. He sits on the St. Pete Council, and he owns multi-homes. But uh, it's kind of funny, I got a lot of people that's got, I, I show Florida law. I show Florida law, 1,600 acres. Man from down at Bay City, got three acres on the south end of that. People would come look at it, and they wouldn't like, this old guy, this old geezer, he ain't gonna give up about three acres, we talked to him. <laughs> time after time it happened. And so a real estate person up and called me and asked me, they said, do you know this old geezer? And I said, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> And they said, well, would you ask him, call him and ask him, could I talk with him? Because it's holding up this, this Four or five million dollar sale. Sure. I called him. I don't know what his name. So it's LW. Hey, LW. I said, you know all the times you call me, you run over your house, you've got two phones to go run over your house and turn your lights on. And I don't mean to hold too much time because I probably won't come back. So I thank you for your time. I said, all the times that I've done that. He said, yeah, LW. I said, a guy, young lady in the real estate, could she call you? Yeah, he, she can call me, but I'm going to tell you what, they keep pressing me, they keep on, and he said, I'll buy it myself. And I said, mention I said, look, can you, he said, yeah, it sold, they worked out a deal, he can hunt for all the property, he's in his 80s, but I look at things different than the average person. Now I'm going to show you one thing, and this is not four or five acre properties, these are 1,500 acre properties. These are neighbors. They're, they're, they're not my keys. This is my neighbor. 400 acres, 200 acres. LW, would you watch our property? Sure. One more thing. I'm embarrassed to say, I got a nickname years ago. All these rich geezers became your nickname. Where's my son? Tell him the nickname. He's the mayor of Gulf Hammock, at least on the west side. <laughs> I think what my dad's trying to say is there's a lot of baby boomers that have been in the city. They are trying to find property, and they're looking, and they want to retire. They want this kind of way of life. They want to preserve this way of life. And what's going to happen if you keep getting the growth that's coming to Chief and Bross and everything, you're not going to have it because they're going to start pushing you out. But I, I, let me just finish up. I'm sorry. Yeah. I, yeah. I'm like I say, it might be the last time I'll ever come here. I thank y'all for the time having us. Uh, there, there's some some things going on that I can help y'all with some of the properties. Uh, 
you look at how you approach people about their property, the build up the hammock, you understand what I'm saying? And the build up here, you, you don't go say, oh, they say they won't sell. That, you don't just say, hey, will you sell? You got to say the reason, we're trying to spruce it up. There's other reasons. If you ask a person to clean their property, or you can clean their property up, let that person know that you're not liable because you're going to get hurt on that property. That's the biggest fear that people have. If you're going to spruce up the town, let them people know. Things will re reverse a lot of things. I'm sorry for taking up so, you, so much time. He wants to eat them. <laughs> I think he comes just to eat. Yeah, yeah. I that donation of that's awesome. <laughs> All right, you guys. Should I end it? What should we do now? I don't even know how to end it. <laughs> it's my first one. I hope you enjoyed yourself. Two more thumbs up. I got 200. My name's Julie. My channel is called The Stats. Like, subscribe, share me out. You never know what I'm going to do next. It was exactly like the video. I mean, you're like, this is the uh, were you shaking your head like? <laughs> I wish Russell would have been here for you guys, but he's running. Kale is tucked between his legs. He's running. I asked him to come to you guys.
don't let you know. Uh, my father was one of the guys who bought land. You know, like three years ago, we sold land. Three lots of land. And we you got them, and you got a show. You don't have to wait for a video. You got it. Hey, where'd the safe go? Yeah, it was empty. We, we got we got most of it. We oh, got, yeah, where'd the safe go? <laughs> Can I fan in here? Like there's nothing no one would see if you were walking into a clerk office. Hi. There's nothing in here that right now that it you know, it's a mess. It's a mess. It looks so much better than the last the time I was is, in here. You have to take and go through all the paperwork and just put what is most important and everything else that they put in the box. The we had to put it over there so we can not step on it. Right. So then you what will happen is the then the clerk will go forward with anything last, new last week? and Leon and I will take all those boxes week, right? and we'll start you getting organized to see what we're missing, what's there. there. Uh, it's just, just everywhere. So Welcome, Indiana. Hey, hey. This is my best buddy. <laughs> She's one of my best Her buddies, too. She is the most amazing person in this town. By far. It just, but, I like doing this. I'm so, not a bookkeeper. As I tell them, I'm just volunteer. If you got any, you got a problem, now you have to take it up with somebody. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I volunteer, that's it. It's I'm awesome. Computer. She's yeah. Well, we will with the patients. The only thing is, we now sit everybody in patient with us. That's it. It's going to take a lot to figure out what's going on. And that's all. You just want to know what's going on and make it right. That's all. For the town, for the people. Yeah. Well, like I said, if anybody wants to pull up a chair, we'll get Right. You know, and I've been waiting for a text from her to tell me, come on up. <laughs> yeah. I told you all y'all come up anytime you want. No, I meant to help. Anytime you want. Yep. Anytime. But you guys enjoy. Good luck. Great job. It looks beautiful compared to last time I was in here. She's in Thank you. So I don't know where. I don't know if she's still there or she was there. So she had a couple Kind of giving you guys a little tour, I guess. I don't think you'll ever see her in this building. In there is a kitchen and a door to a garage that has a bunch of file boxes in it. That's it. I don't know. Can you see? It's really dark. All right, well, I've been here an hour and almost 10 minutes. Let me see if I can get Jeremy to say goodbye first. Hey, Jeremy, would you say goodbye? Goodbye. Now help me shut it off, because I don't know how. Um, should be, I don't 